Welcome to another Mass Transit Commute. This episode is going to talk about prefetch count and concurrency limit. These are two things that you can use to adjust the number of concurrent consumers that will process messages on a receive endpoint. And they sort of work together, but there's a little misunderstanding on them. So I want to just start off with just a very basic sample. This is a claim submission consumer. It's going to auto configure its endpoint. And when I run it, I'm not specifying any overloads. I'm just saying, I just want this to run. Now by default, Mass Transit is gonna set the prefetch count equal to the number of processors on your system. So in this case, you can see that my consumer that I just added has a prefetch count of 16, because I have 16 cores. That's just kind of a default. You know, Generally, if consumers are CPU heavy, you would want that to be about that. If you were doing a lot of remote calls and you're waiting around a lot, you might wanna set that higher so that you can you know, take better advantage of the processor capabilities. Um, but let's just say we want to change that. Now, there are a number of ways to change it. Um, a super easy way to change it is to just add an endpoint definition to the consumer. And in this case, there are a couple values I could set. I could just set the prefetch count and be done. And, you know, maybe that's what I want to do. Maybe I want to set it to 64 and go. And that will set the prefetch count to 64 when I go back and look inside the app that's running in uh, RabbitMQ. I can see when my consumer gets created, it has a prefetch count of 64. Super simple to set, it's set up, it's done, it's done at the transport level, nothing else is done. Now, not all, well, they all kind of support prefetch count now at this point, but um, there is another setting that I can change. And this one is a little different. This one is called concurrent message limit. And this is saying that I only want to process this many messages in my consumer. And setting this allows the transport to have some flexibility to say, well, depending upon the consumer, if you want, say, 10 concurrent messages, when I run this, you, what we'll see is that the prefetch count won't be 10. It uses just kind of a percentage-based algorithm to figure out how many it should be. In this case, it picked 12 because it wants to add a little buffer so that as messages are acknowledged, there's already a message waiting at the receive endpoint to dispatch to the consumer. So it increases the performance a little bit, especially if there's a higher latency between uh, your service and the broker. Um, so that's just kind of a general thing that you can use instead of setting the prefetch count directly. Uh, they do work hand in hand together and you can specify both. So if I wanna come in here and say, okay, well, I only wanna process 10 messages at a time, but I want my prefetch count to be equal to 60, I can do that. And I will still only process 10 messages at a time. If I look in the log, I'll see that I'm only processing messages in chunks of 10. You'll see that each receive will acknowledge a chunk of 10 at a time. And that's because I'm only allowing 10 messages at a time, even though my prefetch count is 60. These are values that you're gonna adjust a lot of times because if you know your consumers are slow and you have a lot of instances, you want to keep your prefetch count pretty much equal to your concurrent message limit or just don't set concurrent message limit at all, only set the prefetch count. And then it will dispatch those to the consumer so that other instances are able to pull from the front of the queue more quickly. If your concurrent message limit is 10 and your prefetch count is 60, that means 50 messages are sitting in a buffer on that receive endpoint waiting to dispatch to consumers. And those are messages that are that could be processed by other instances running at the same time. Um, there is one other way you can specify the concurrent message limit. Actually, there's a bunch, but this is just kind of showing it. This is the endpoint here. Again, I could always use a consumer definition here too. And within the consumer definition, I could just set the concurrent message limit. Now, within the consumer definition, you can't set the prefetch count this way. Uh, because there is no prefetch count property on inside the constructor for the consumer definition. You can, however, override the configure consumer method because this gives you access to the endpoint configurator. And you can do something like saying, if endpoint configurator is irabbitmq receive endpoint configurator, then I could say rmq.prefetch count equals 10. And that will allow me to set that prefetch count specifically. Um, and that you could ask for any of the receive endpoint configurators because prefetch count is per transport. It isn't on the base receive endpoint configurator. So that's how you set prefetch count and concurrent message limit to limit the number of processing or increase the amount of processing you can do on a receive endpoint. Hopefully this was useful. Catch you next time.